Lots of damage today after a huge fire in northwest Austin. The International Residence Apartments looked more like a war zone early this morning. Three buildings were destroyed. Multiple firefighting agencies are trying to find the cause now. And tonight, those who escaped the flames are dealing with the fact they lost everything just five days before Christmas. David Scott reports tonight from the Red Cross shelter where so many are staying. This Northwest Fellowship Church has got about 100 people spending the night here. Evacuees grateful for a warm cot and some food. But first, this fire raised some interesting safety questions. The International Residence Apartments do not have ceiling sprinklers. It was built before they were required, but it does have smoke alarms. The private water hydrants were working and were used. The problem wasn't for want of water. Wind. Wind was the uh, pretty much the firestorm of destruction in this apartment complex. Gusty winds make for a fast, tricky blaze. The complex has two entrances on the south side near where the fire broke out and on the north side, which was unscathed. But they could not be used. There was no blow horns. There was nothing to let these people know what was happening. And then we were trapped. And there was no way for any car to get out of here. Why were you trapped? They had both entrances blocked. There was no car coming out of here. Was the lack of response deficient? Yes, explicitly deficient. At the shelter, food, cots, prayers, and comforting words. Shakina James confirmed Shauna Stanford's story. At first, we couldn't leave the apartments. But then because it was blocked, right? It was blocked. Um, no one was, no one was getting in. No one was getting out. Kind of scary. Mm, not, not so much. It was better than what I thought it was going to be. And for like so many others, it was a night and day Zach Tinney won't forget. We ran in and we were just trying to wake up people. Uh, there were people still in their apartments asleep, and the fire and the embers were coming over. So we just went around and we were pounding door to door. By the way, the Northwest Fellowship Church has recently been designated an official shelter. The Red Cross needs one in this area. As for the evacuees who lost so much on the eve of Christmas, let's hope that tomorrow's dawn is a little brighter. David Scott, KXAN News.